Hey, superhumans. I nibble on everything. That's something that came up during the challenge as well that I, I found quite funny because I was thinking, like, if you just left random shit about the house, would they nibble on it? And I do have a friend that tests everything by just tasting it. it goes, anything you hand him goes straight to his mouth. And it made me think about, like, this was said in a negative way. We were talking about relationships with food and how to get a better one. And, and nibbling on everything was said as a, as a, a negative. And it made me think that whatever you're nibbling on, you have to buy in some way. You have to bring into your house unless you're going to shops and just nibbling on random things. And that's a completely different problem that you have. But if you're just nibbling on things all the time, then maybe you need to think about preempting that. So if I know that I hate cold water and being cold, I'm not going to go and jump in a fucking cold river because I'm going to die. I'm going to be froze and then I'm going to drift off in the river and die. So I would avoid that. But if I had to go into the river, then I would get a wetsuit and I would get booties and I would get gloves and I would get a hat. I don't know, are gloves, booties or booties, but are gloves just gloves? Either way, I would get all the gear and a hat and everything and I would go in. So I would be relatively warm within this cold environment. So I'm prepping myself. I know what, that I have to do this and I know that I'm going into it. So I'm going to prep myself to get the best out of it. So imagine if you did that for your home, whenever you went shopping, you just bought food that you know is going to make you feel good. If you're a nibbler, then you know that buying like fruit, grapes and blueberries and strawberries and that sort of thing, you're, you're going to nibble on them, yes, but at least they're healthy. They're, they're going to be better for you. And then I would question the nibbling. Are you nibbling because you're hungry? Are you nibbling because you're bored? Are you nibbling as a comfort? Are you nibbling because you just need something to do with your mouth and hands? What is your reason for doing it? And in my experience, most people nibble on food because they... They don't understand calories in, calories out. They don't understand how much they actually eat in a day. So they normally will like skip breakfast, maybe have a coffee and then a small lunch and no real plan for dinner. Then by about six o'clock they're starving and they start to realize that, God, I'm we hungry here. I'll just, I'll just have a wee snack. I don't really want to eat a big meal because it's late and you're not supposed to do that. And they nibble on things for the rest of the evening. And if you actually track that and paid attention to it, they probably add more calories in that wee nibble-a-thon. Nibble-a-thon? That's a... Put that down, write that down somewhere. That wee nibble-a-thon during the evening for the next five hours than they would have had if they had had a breakfast, lunch, and dinner that was healthy and good for them and structured. And you end up with more energy. A lot of time we, we nibble because we're starting to flag during the day. No, I need to have, like... I need to have my mid-afternoon coffee because I'm flagging. You probably don't because because the caffeine lasts longer. If you had one in the morning, the caffeine's still in your system by the lunchtime. So sleep is probably what you need. That will be much better instead of giving yourself some sort of stimulant to perk you up. I'm not saying you shouldn't drink coffee, but I'm saying you should look at why you're drinking it. If it's because you keep flagging, go back and look at your sleep. And I bet you, like anyone doing it now, let me know if I'm wrong. But I guarantee you look at your sleep pattern and you go, fuck, that's stupid messed up or you'll say something like i'm fine i can function on loads of hours with no sleep i'm fine um that's a segue nibble -a -thon. so whenever you're nibbling on things ask yourself why you're doing that like what well, what is it that this is benefiting you what why do you think you've missed meals do you think you're undernourished what is what's going on with it that way it's not just something that's happening to you it's something that you have some sort of control on maybe you like to nibble um, so then just go back to the first thing I said, start buying things that are better for you to nibble on than everything. If you just start nibbling day in, day out on like Maltesers, Maltesers, M&M's, Maltesers, Face Versus, remember them? They probably still don't exist, I can't remember. Uh, if you start nibbling those sort of things, you're going to blast your calories, blast the sugar, blast the fat. All of that's going to, blast the fat sounds like a workout. You're going to increase the fat, nobody's going to that workout program. Uh, so having an understanding of, of the fact that you are a nibbler then when you go shopping remind yourself right fuck I'm a nibbler if I buy all this shit I'm going to eat it same as if I take a full pack of biscuits down, sit down with it on a cup of tea I'm going to eat the whole pack so we know that so don't take the biscuits with you so think about why you do the things that you do question it question everything question it ask yourself why look into it question more than why and answer more than fuck just I don't know I've always been like this a answer more treat yourself like your best friend question it ask more um so hopefully that helps with the nibblers out there hopefully you understand why you're doing it by the end of this feel free to let me know in the comments why you do what you do 
and if you need any more help with it let me know that as well any other questions please let me know them also there's three things to let me know uh, have an amazing day whatever you get up to and i will speak to you again soon